I'm standing in front of a World War II submarine. Uh, actually saw action uh, toward the close of the war. As I'm looking at these uh, tools of warfare, I'm thinking about the spiritual war that we're all in. And I think about the, the control and the limited autonomy, but definite autonomy that a submarine commander would have had during World War II. They would have to adhere to the general rules of war and uh, the codes of conduct for our military and then, of course, military strategy. But after that, uh, they'd be looking for targets of opportunity. And I wonder how many targets of opportunity go missing and uh, unspoken to in our communities just because we get so caught up in, in thinking about doctrine and thinking about rules and thinking about strategies that we're saying no more times than we're saying yes. And uh, these guys didn't have to even ask. Uh, they knew that they had a definite yes when they saw something that required or uh, was an opportunity for them to move forward with. And, you know, as, as you're thinking about ministry and what goes on, I just wonder how much freedom that the people in your church have to pursue uh, really what we would find in Ephesians chapter 2, 11 that would mobilize them for ministry, to realize that uh, God created them as his masterpiece, they got a job to do, and you and I are not gonna stand in the way of them doing it.